welcome back to my channel. When Lilian Bougie and I set up Virtual Views Partners Group a few months ago, we did so with the intent of helping others tell their true stories so they can inspire greatness in their lives and in others. Because let's face it, we acknowledge the fact that life can be difficult. Success is tough. If it wasn't, then everybody would be able to achieve the goals they set forth for themselves. And that's obviously not the case. So life can be difficult. And we want to help you lead the life you deserve, lead the life you really want for yourself. And that's really what Vital Reviews Partners Group is truly about. Now, one thing that will help you in becoming the hero that you truly want to be is a very simple five-step tool that if you practice it enough will completely change your framework and make sure that you go from being a victim to being a hero. Because you know, if you look around yourself, the world is full of victims, people that will blame others for their lack of success or blame circumstances or the environment or the economy for, again, their lack of success. And, and that is very much the behavior of a victim. Now, successful people do not do that. They adopt the mind frame of a hero. And today I'd like to cover five milestones that will be very, very helpful in making sure that you go from being a victim to becoming a hero. Now, the first milestone is a victim tends to take from the world. What is in it for me? How can I make more money? How can I be more successful? How can I have more fame? And it's usually all about how can I accumulate more things for myself? Whereas a hero is about what can I give to the world? How can I be of service? How can I help others? Whether or not I benefit is not the priority. And this is the major, this is the first milestone. This is the first major difference between a victim and a hero. The victim will take from the world, the hero will give to the world. Now, the second milestone is a victim will tend to focus on releasing excuses, finding excuses for almost everything. Again, the economic environment is not, is not ideal. I cannot start now. Maybe others, or oh, I'm not surrounded by the right people. I don't have the right support. My wife is getting me crazy. So anything that is basically going to blame other, releasing excuses as to why I am not able to achieve my goals or to be successful as I wish. Whereas heroes will not do that again. They will focus on delivering results, delivering iconic results. Even if circumstances are not ideal, what is the opportunity here? How can I still achieve something amazing? How can I still deliver amazing results? How can I, every day, improve a little bit more? If you improve just 1% every day, by the end of the year, you've improved more than 300%. So heroes will focus on delivering results as opposed to victims focusing on releasing excuses. And that's a major milestone. The third milestone, the third difference between a hero and a victim, the victim will live in the past Living in the past usually means living with regrets, living with sadness very often, with things that, oh, I shouldn't have done it this way, I could have done better. The problem with the past is, well, <laughs> it's the past. There's nothing you can do to change it. Whereas heroes will focus on creating a heroic future that you can impact, that you can change. So why focus on something that is versus something that could be. So heroes will focus on the future, whereas victims, sorry, will focus on the past. And that is also a very important milestone. Another important milestone, the, the fourth milestone is, victims will always appear busy, but they are what I call busy being busy. You always create movement around yourself. You feel that, oh, I'm busy with doing that, I'm busy with doing that, you're jumping from this, from that, and so on and so forth. And you're creating more, in a sense, almost drama, whereas you're not very productive. Heroes 
will be monomaniacally focused on one, two, or three goals and just reject the rest. They're not busy. Heroes work less hours in a day, but they work better. They are more focused on what is important. They're able to say no to what is not important. And most importantly, they're not focused on busy being busy just for the image or for the sake of being busy. And that is also a very big difference. Now, the last, the last suggestion, the last one that I would like to mention is, is obvious in a sense, but it is so true, so profound. Victims will use the word can't very often. At every occasion, I can't do that. I can't seem to be able to do that. I can't seem to be able to learn this. Whereas heroes will focus on can, on possibilities. I can do that. If only I get a plan in place. Because it's about planning. You can achieve anything you want as long as you know how to plan it properly. So heroes will focus, will use the word can more often than they use the word can't. And it's the opposite for victims. They use the word can't more often than they use the word can. Now, those five milestones are very easy in, in, in and of themselves, but they require practice. I invite you to practice them on a daily basis, maybe one by one if you feel that this is easier for you. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and please share with your family, your friends, your partners, your community, your colleagues. And I will also put the address of our blog. I invite you to follow our blog on a weekly basis. The address will be right down the video. And thank you very much and have an excellent week ahead of you. Thank you.